Hey guys, Dave here. Once again, it is casserole time and we are making up some lemon chicken and rice casserole. Yes, a simple, easy and delicious midweek meal. So let me show you how to do this. So the first thing you want to do is grab up six boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I suppose you could use breast too. I just like thighs that have got that extra little bit of flavor and juiciness to them. You could use bone in and skin on too, but I just like the boneless, skinless. They're so much easier to work with and they got a lot of flavor to them. Grab up a medium-sized fresh lemon and slice it fairly thinly. Then just go ahead and lay those fresh lemon wedges over top of that chicken. And is it just me or is it starting to look good already? And of course, you're going to have a bit of lemon left over and it would only be appropriate to squeeze that over top of the chicken. Then on with a cup and a half of washed long grain white rice. You can use the rice of your choice. I just kind of like the long grain, but basmati, jasmine, whatever you like does fine too. And you want to sprinkle this in a relatively even manner onto that chicken and rice. Now it is time to season things up with about a teaspoon of thyme. Oh, thyme for thyme. Oh, sometimes I crack myself up. I know, corny, but uh, a little bit entertaining. Followed by a teaspoon, yes, you guessed it, of garlic powder. Now you can use fresh garlic too, but I just find garlic powder distributes a little more evenly and it's easier to work with. Then about two teaspoons of my all-time favorite seasoning. Yes, Italian seasoning. I just love this stuff. And I mean, you can really go ahead and just heap this on. Okay, a few good cracks of salt. I'd say about a teaspoon. You don't want too much salt on here. My all-time favorite seasoning that I buy by the truckload. About a teaspoon or two of ground black pepper. And to finish things off in the final finale, about a teaspoon of basil pesto over top of each chicken thigh. I have to say guys, basil pesto goes with about just about anything and I always have a jar kicking around in the fridge. Alrighty then, over the top with three cups of chicken broth. Then I'm just gonna grab up my spoon and give everything kind of a swirl around here. Now into a 365 degree preheated oven and set your timer for about one hour or 60 minutes. After 60 minutes, here we are guys. And doesn't this look good? And I mean the smell, oh, the smell is just intoxicating. Of course, we have to garnish and pretty this up with some chopped up green onions. And you know, you can use parsley too if you like. Give this a scoop up and oh my goodness, doesn't this scoop up absolutely beautifully? Onto a plate and it is time to admire and serve up your gorgeous chicken, lemon and rice casserole. And in that description, we simply cannot leave out that ever so delicious basil pesto. And your dinner guests are going to shout and scream and say, where, where, how did you do this? Where did you get this? And you're going to say, it is a secret. You know, but for a little bit of cash, I'll let you know. And you bite into this, guys. It is just incredible. Those thighs are tender. That seasoning is wonderful. That lemon just hits your palate and fills your mouth with flavor. Oh my goodness, you just can't ask for more. This is definitely a must, must make. And as I say all the time, and I do mean it, if you are hungry for more, like and subscribe.